This is the last time we'll ever see Tiger Stripe ship. Going extinct. Just like real tigers, and now I'm sad. Yeah, tigers are my favorite animal, believe it or not. Tigers are pretty cool. I was born here of the tiger. I don't have any tiger facts prepared. I was born in the year of the rabbit. But yeah, uh, Ratchet's in a tuxedo now. Cool. I I may have earned a couple of uh, couple of skill points to unlock that. He pulls the suit off really well. I gotta say. Yeah. A lot of dudes can't rock the suit. He's rocking the suit. All right, and there are these enemies. They're little mutant squirrel things. You want to kill them all and then hang around a little bit. Because uh, I didn't stick around to show them off, but there are robotic tourists being led around by a robotic fizz widget. And if they all live through the entire tour, then you get a skill point. That's cool. Um, I got a squirrel story. Okay. All right, um, my parents, when I used to live with my parents, uh, okay, we had squirrels, because we live, like, in the woods, and they would get in the attic, and my dad would put up traps and everything, and these didn't work, and he just got a pellet gun, and he started shooting them, and that worked pretty well. And then one year, or one day, one of them was in the attic, and he could hear it crawled around, and he got the pellet gun out, and he loaded it and fired it, and then he hit the squirrel while it was in the attic. And he was proud of himself for about a second, until he realized what he had done. Okay. What had he done? He shot the squirrel while well, it was in the attic. Oh, okay. Like, he shot it, like, it was hanging around the overhang, and he oh. could hear it there. He shot, and he got it, and there was, like, cool blood dripping down. And so, oh. like I said, he was proud of himself for about a second before he realized how badly he had just fucked up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he had to get a guy to come in and take the squirrel carcass out. Yep. If you destroy all four of these rockets, then you also get a skill point. And it's kind of annoying because they have a lot of health. Disarmament. No. You can't hug your kids with nuclear rockets, Kalon. No, you really can't. But you can't hug them with a wrench either. Maybe. Maybe you can't. Wrenches are much smaller than rockets. It depends how big the wrench is, too. I mean, if you just clamp it down on them, that's technically hugging. Like, if you held a wrench in each of your hands and just did, like, a hugging motion. Okay, yeah. All right. You can indeed hug your children with wrenches. Yep. Come on. Come on, just lift off already. There we go. All right, and, uh, well, I just hang around to let the tourists live and get that skill point while I'm at it. I'm assuming as soon as you get the skill point, you kill them? Uh, no. Oh. But there is an Easter egg that I did not show off because I tried showing off one time and then I kind of died because I fell off the cliff. Um. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> As you're getting off, as they're getting off the bus that they come come off of, they just spawn infinitely. So you can just sit there and whack them with a wrench over and over again, and just keep killing them. <laughs> and even eventually, the game yells at you and tells you that they have reported you to the uh, to the Polaris authorities or whatever. Well, you're a monster, yeah. <laughs> but I just noticed that's not his helmet; that's his hair. Yeah. He's got it flicked back. Okay. <laughs> and we are so close to being able to purchase the plasma coil. Uh, oh, and look, that rocket we just launched earlier, it crashes down here, kills an enemy. That seems like a waste. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, it was pretty cool. On the other hand, we have, like this thing, which also shoots rockets. And kills enemies. And cameras. Well, cameras were collateral damage. Yeah. You know what they say, you can't make an omelet without destroying a few cameras. Yeah, I don't think I've ever played a video game where cameras weren't destructible. Mm -hmm. I, I literally can't think of one. An older NES game, I would think, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. Eh. These things are annoying because it took me a while to remember 
how they they move because they move did weird. Did you kill with the, the tractor sheep beam. with that thing? Yes, I did. Not on purpose. There's. Uh, I didn't you, do you it on purpose. You are just horrible today. Look, look. I didn't mean to do it. It just sort of happened. You apologize to those other sheep. I'm sorry, other sheep. I accidentally killed your friend with the tractor beam. And I'm very confused as to what I'm supposed to do here. I'm not getting it. I'm not either. How, how do puzzle work? That's that Come guy. on. Come you, here. solve this. Come on, let's go. <laughs> You're a robot. You're smart. You're smarter than I am. Get back here. I need you to solve this for me. Clank, you speak robot. Help us here. Yeah, he does speak robot. He, he proved it earlier by speaking to those little chomper robots. Thank you, glasses. that's such a... You murderer! <laughs> <laughs> Look, they get in the way, and they're basically made out of paper mache. You know, I can't really complain. I eat lamb. Lamb is delicious. I don't eat lamb, so, like, why are you yelling at me? You've probably killed more sheep than I have. Not personally. <laughs> Though I, I do kill deer and sometimes yeah oh I got shot it's just a giant flying torso vaporizer is awesome because it kills them in two hits deer meat doesn't really have a lot of fat and it's not really easy to use Captain Quark, complete hey look it's you control <gasps> electro gadget. Hammer of power got the ears power. right and everything <laughs> I don't wear glasses anymore though I knew this day but you still do dress in your you Captain Quark your cape I, lo I lost the hat, like, last year. I can't find it. I think I accidentally threw it out during a cleaning session. <sighs> Man, you gotta be more careful with your collector items. I know. At last we meet. Nobly, I fall on the field of battle. Finish me, Lombax! Come on, Clank. Let's get going. Yeah, that's my reaction, too. <laughs> yeah. You seemed the greatest superhero who ever lived. You owe me something. All right, here's five. Fiver. No way. Five bolts won't get you anything in this universe. What are you talking about? The inflation is so bad. Trade for this armor magnetizer. I believe that device is designed to attract bolts. Gee! You think? Why would we need that? There's one right here. They're just floating around. We, we can't get that for a very long time. Give him a wedgie. I wish. Wedgie him until he surrenders it. I wish, but no. R Rat oh, yeah, that was the charge boots, by the way. Reg is not that big of a jerk anymore. Uh, he doesn't give people wedges anymore. That kid is so nerdy, I would have beaten him up in high school. Yeah, pretty much. Like, there's nerdy, and then there's... That guy. Just that guy. <laughs> You know, I never got really picked on that much for being a nerd in high school, and I think I know why. Uh, you didn't socialize with anyone? And avoided human contact? Well, yes, but also because all of my friends were nerds, but all of my friends were also six, six feet tall and weighed at least 250 pounds. Yeah, I I'm 6'2", so... Yeah. Well... I mean, they were big people. It's like ladders? What the fuck is a ladder? <laughs> but yeah. So, high school. M many people have horror stories about high school. The only thing that I found horrible about high school was how dreadfully boring it was. Yeah, high school, not great. It's like, mm. here, take this test. Learn how to take tests real good. You can now do multiple chest to choice tests really good. Good job. You have learned. You will never use this in college. You will learn. Alright, so there's also a secret up there. We can use this tractor beam to progress, and or we're going to use it to solve this puzzle first. You come up here, and then... Oh man, don't walk on those things. You'll get your feet caught in them. Where is Space Ocean? Oh, this is a, this is terrible. You can't do this. But I'm going the wrong way because I needed to do something here first. All right. Oh, don't have the right weapon equipped. 
but here's what you use the spider bot for. Ratchet, seriously, stop r- walking on the rollers. Does the term degloved mean anything to you? Hmm. Yep, it can just activate switches and then blow up when I don't need it anymore. Especially they sh- they showed me this horror, it's like this um, training video. Uh, the dude just had, got his hand in there. He got a ring. His wedding, his wedding band caught in there. Just pulled all the fi- all the skin off his finger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't fuck with heavy machinery. You don't do it. I wince when I watch people play the Batman Arkham games because of how Batman just m- breaks bones. So, like, I can't even deal with fake awful things happening to bodies, let alone real stuff like that. Yeah, those games bothered me because of Batman's no-kill policy. At least one of those dudes went into shock and died. Come on. Yeah. Oh, look, we have a new puzzle. It's not really a puzzle, but these rockets will only fit in certain sized ones, so uh, you gotta figure out which ones they go in, and then how to get them there. It's really easy. Towers of Annoy, it ain't. Yep. It's so easy, I would expect like a five-year-old to be able to do this on his first try. I don't know. I, I know some dumb five-year-olds. Okay. Well, fair enough. And then you have to move this thing in front of the laser so that way you don't die when you go across it because there's no way in hell you're going to be able to cross that and still live. I was hoping that more of the ba- uh, bouncer bombs would go towards those guys, but it didn't work. Use the charge boots. <laughs> no. No. Especially since it's in post. You can't make me. Oh man, this again. <gasps> Are we actually going to get to Towers of Annoy? I, I, I feel like I'm not pronouncing that right, and I probably... Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I have a bad enough problem with that Mass Effect because I'm bad at actual puzzles. Are we talking about pronunciation or what are we doing? Uh, I'm, I'm talking about the actual puzzle itself. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm bad at puzzles and the Towers of whatever the hell, however the hell you're pronouncing it. Towers of blah blah blah. It, it, yeah. If I like, pronounce that wrong, please, in the thread, someone yell at me. Yes, please, someone yell at him. Um... Oh, speaking of, I was thinking of Shoal. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. He, he realized this immediately after we stopped recording. I was going to mention it last video, then I forgot, because I'm dumb. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but I'm dumb. Uh, oh, I didn't make it the first time, so we'll just edit out the waiting. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Alright. I like um, that the music here is kind of secret agent. It fits well. Yeah. Is that why you use? Is that why you're in the tuxedo? No, I just unlocked the tuxedo and happened to. Uh... It's just a nice coincidence. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was going to be a guy who spawned up there again, but nope. <laughs> uh, All right. Little legs so just amused me. This entire area was a side path. However, it is the best side path ever because... Sheep gun! <gasps> That's why all these sheep are around, because it's the sheep gun! Wait, so you're an actual murderer? <laughs> Possibly. You're awful. If you turn 16 squirrels into, a sh- into sheep, you get the skill point! We can open up a slaughterhouse. <laughs> Oh, and the plasma coil, finally. And between the sheep gun and the plasma coil, I'm sorry, I have to change my quick select. We don't have to slaughter them now, we can just cook them immediately. Yeah, it's great. But yeah, let's go do the actual level now that they wanted us to do, I guess. Ah, fine. Oh, and this is the infiltrator, it's a piece of shit. I hate this even more than I hate the, uh, the other one. I don't know, I kind of hate the other one more. Just because the timing on it is just annoying. 
This one you can at least brute force. Uh, yeah, but I'm also really bad at memorization, so... Now these are sheep resistance squirrels. Yep, and the, the sheep gun also upgrades, so, uh... Now they, tur they turn into rams. Yup. Actually, no. It, oh. it, it gets so much better than that. You'll see. I will upgrade Goats? it, even if... No. It's, it's, all, it's always going to be a sheep coat. Or a sheep gun. Also, there's these annoying mines that pop up and shoot electricity out in a, cir in a circle arc. And they annoy me because... They have a really simple pattern that I'm awful at timing, so, uh... But they kill the enemies, too, which is neat. Yeah. That's nice. Most games don't do that. It's kind of unwanted for me, because I wanted to turn them into sheep. Oh. Basically, I want to just turn everything into sheep now. Hey, guys. How's it going? Oh. <laughs> not real great. <laughs> I like to the legs stand back up. <laughs> oh, I never noticed that. I just thought that they danced around for a little bit. <laughs> uh, secret infiltrator. I cut out all failures, I think. But we're still playing. <laughs> I get <laughs> it, I'm bad at video games. Joke. But, uh, yeah, I, from now on I'm going to cut out the infiltrator failures because I'm awful at them and you don't want to see me sit there for 10, 15 minutes going, Oh, which way do I go? And I'm also going the wrong way again. Which way did it go, George? Which way did it go? I don't... The way you said it just reminded me of that. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. What? Why did we just go up and down the elevator? Because I may have gone the wrong way. Okay. Maybe. You can't prove anything. Except for the fact that I continued to go this way. Oh yeah, also another thing about the uh, plasma coil is that if there's an enemy close enough, uh, electricity will arc and do the same amount of damage to any nearby enemies. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the plasma coil is kind of really overpowered, and I love it. The only the only downside is that it has shit for ammo. Well, at least it's not the Rhino, or the Alpha One Rhino. Yeah, Jesus, the Alpha I'm One Rhino. I'm still mad about that. Oh God, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. That fucking thing. It was so great. They're like here. You can play with this forever! You want to play with this forever? You can play with it forever! And then as soon as you're done playing with it forever, it's like, okay, now prepare to never use it ever. Seriously, you get 12 shots. 12 shots. And you eat through half of those shots in about three seconds. Not even three seconds. I mean, seconds. it kills things really fast, but come the fuck on. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still sad that uh, Random Ninja couldn't get his. Uh, no, I think he stopped being sad the instant we realized. Oh, uh, well, yeah. And then he got really smug. <laughs> and he's like, well, look at that, I don't, I didn't waste my time with it. Eh. Even though he did. <laughs> he wasted eight hours of his life trying to get a skill point. That didn't even matter because his PS3 got wiped. Oh, that was funny as hell. <laughs> Random, I know we're shitting on you, and but seriously, why what the would fuck, you man? do that? <laughs> why Who the would hell you? Cares? <laughs> I have to be the best at all for one. <laughs> oh, I still can't believe there's a fucking hundred skill points in all for one. Angela Cross. Oh, hey, Angela just said her name for the very first time. Echo Foxtrot. Ratchet here. Uh, Angela, is that your name? Ratchet was calling you something quite different. <laughs> what was he calling her? I don't know. I can think of a few things. Uh, dumb shit moron. 
but we just not <laughs> Useless working. asshole. Not anymore. Useless bitch. Nah. Assholes are for men. <sighs> I tell Women you have assholes, Kalon. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess. I just associate asshole with guy. As, it's what they're I don't know. The experiment now. Here, watch this. It's a YouTube video I found of children being hurt. <laughs> this is the best. No, 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 take it away! Lonely. This is probably my favorite cutscene in the entire <laughs> oh game. Oh my god, this face. <laughs> shriek with joy when he meets our adorable friend. Wanna play ball? So does the pro. <laughs> We're gonna eat another Billy. <laughs> Timmy. His name was Billy, damn it. Oh, oh okay. This guy's name is Billy. Okay. His name was Billy Paulson. Just ask Billy. The Megacorp. Jesus. Billy's <laughs> taking a beating, man. From Abercrombie Fizz Widget himself. That's my favorite cutscene in the entire fucking game. Going to be a pet? Megacorp intends. I could end the LP right here and be happy. Unconscionable. I'm That's not, not a word. Exactly what I've been trying yes, it is. Uh, no, I disagree. It's not a word. Consequences for the entire well, galaxy if that you're wrong. Distributed. We must nope, get through to Mr. Fizz Widget. <sighs> if you still think he'll listen, you should Wait, try to catch him on the planet. Wait, where I was forgetting? I'll upload the coordinates. Probably. This could be our last chance. <laughs> Her face is really emotive. No, actually, I... I either mentioned or got them all. Okay. I have skill points for those who weren't watching the cutscene version. <laughs> oh, and the best part about the Sheepinator does not run on ammo. That's cool. Yup. You can use it forever, unlike a certain other critter gun from a certain other game, which may be called All for One. Might be possible. Somebody put the rockets back. Oh, they did! What the fuck, man? I worked hard to destroy those. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing else here for me. Squirrel targeting rockets. Oh, hey, we're getting back in the ship and it's not the end of the video. Weird. Oh, yeah. That's right, because I have a few things that I forgot to get at the beginning of the video, so I got them at the end instead. Mostly to just drag some more life out of the tuxedo. I can't fall and find fault with that. Alright, so this is way back in the very beginning of the game. If you go up this grav ramp and then slide down here, you get to fight the first boss again. Only this time you fight him the, the entire body of him. And he's kind of tough, actually. He's got yeah, a lot of health. he's pretty ugly. Yeah, he's got a lot of health. He has a lot of different attacks, and also if you go into that muck for too long, you just instantly die. So it's... You're constantly on the move, trying to avoid his attacks while dealing damage with to him. The best way i found to do this is to just backflip onto the lily pads. I bet those big old claws are delicious boiled. Mmm, probably. So he hogs loogies to destroy lily pads. I don't know if they come back or not, but there's a lot of lily pads, so you don't really have to worry about them ever running out. Uh, he'll swipe at you with his claws. Um, and then he has the one attack that I actually get hit by, and it's kind of annoying. You'll see it in a little sec, in a little bit. Okay. What's he doing? Uh, I don't know, but he's eating me now. Oh. And then he spits you out. Well, that's just bad. Uh, that's bad form. Yeah. Let's plasma coil him. Arr! Well, that does a good chunk of damage. Yeah, plasma coil is really, really good. I don't think you're supposed to have it for this boss. I think uh, this is you're meant to fight him before you get that. All right, now sheep him. Make him into the uh. biggest sheep. <laughs> I actually did not see if you could sheep him, because the sheepinator has a really lousy range, and I was worried about being eaten again, like that. Ow. Yeah. It does a lot of damage. Why do they always spit you back out? Do you just taste really funky? You know, that's a good question, and if I tasted funky the first time, would it make him think I would taste better? 
after the second time? I have no idea. Let's boil them. But for that, we get the box breaker. Your feet are clipping through the lily pad. Yep. Your most of your legs are now clipping through the lily pad. <laughs> Tactical level ups. <laughs> Oops, somebody ran into this planet. <laughs> All right, so we're back here because there was an infiltrator thing here. You cheap the robots. I did cheap the robots. Ah, uh, now we know what androids dream of. <laughs> Let's just skip to the end here where I actually succeed. Despite all of the failures there, I still managed to get it in time. I still don't really understand what's happening with these, and I just broke force. <laughs> 